Okay, so to start, you need a few things. Um, curling iron. This is a one inch barrel. I just got it from Winners. Um, and a straightener. And some duckbill clips. You can just get them at any beauty store. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna spray first. Um, I just find that it helps keep the curl longer because my hair is pretty fine and it can fall out quite quickly. So then I'm just going to split my hair into five sections. Just take out the front kind of fringe bit. And the first one will just be on the side. Um, I've said this before, but if you have thicker hair, you're more than welcome to do more sections. So then I just wrap my hair around the curling iron and leave out the end inch. Um, and I do it vertically um, just because I like how the curl looks better this way. Hold it for about 30 seconds. Slide the curling iron out. Just make sure you keep that curl together and then take a duckbill clip and just slide it through. And I'm just going to clip it there until it cools because it'll just help the curl to last much longer. So then we can do the same thing on the other side. Ah, don't burn your fingers. It gets really hot. Obviously I've done that numerous times. Take your duckbill clip and just slide it through the middle. Um, so the last section is just the back. And you'll see that I'm only doing the top layer. And again, if you have thicker hair, you can do the bottom portion, but it's just not necessary for me to do it. And it takes longer. And I hate taking a long time doing my hair and makeup. <laughs> Even though I do do a lot of these videos, I am fairly low maintenance when it comes to kind of everyday hair and makeup. And then the last part is just these front sections. So just make sure you're curling away from your face. And I've done um, a full video on this starting from wet hair. And I will link that one below for you guys. Looking good, ladies. Um, okay, so again, you can curl the bottom section if you want. Um, I'm just going to straighten the ends so that it all blends in nicely. And then you can go ahead and start straightening the front ends. And I will usually do right here too because I have some cowlicks. If only I liked my natural hair texture. It's not true of all women. Once these guys are cool, these little bad boys, you can take them out. And before you shake out the curl, I'm just gonna straighten the ends all together. I just find it's easier and quicker. So, I'm just gonna take the end inch and straighten that. Just gives a much beachier look. Then I'm just gonna flip my head over and uh, brush it out. It looks a little bit like that. Um, and then I'll usually go in with my straightener again and just kind of straighten any kinks. Sometimes I get kinks right here. I guess because of the way that I hold my curling iron. And then just make sure the bottom is all blended. And that is pretty much it. So the whole thing takes me probably 10 to 15 minutes from blow drying my hair and doing the curling and straightening as well. So it doesn't really take me that long, um, which is probably the only benefit of having fine hair. 
Um, the last thing you want to do is just do another spray. That is the finished look. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, you guys are always asking for hair tutorials. So if you have any other requests or questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to chat with you, um, whether it's on email or Instagram or in the comments. Um, so let's move on to just a quick day makeup. So first I prep my skin with Desiem The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I've used this only for a few days, but I like it so far. So then I mix this Photography Fluid Tan, which is just kind of like a golden liquid, um, and I mixed it with my Cetaphil Moisturizer, just to kind of give myself a little bit of a glow in this harsh winter. Um, I have yet to find a really good self tanner that doesn't make me break out. I know you guys gave me a few um, recommendations, but I have yet to try them all out, so I will keep you posted on that. Um, so then I'm just going to go in with a light powder foundation. This one is by Jane Erdale. Looks like that. I'm almost done. And a Sephora flat kabuki brush. Just go in in my T-zone where I need it. I'm going to do a little bit of spot concealing with my Clay to Poe and just a flat MAC concealer brush. Got a bit of a spot right there. Oh. As I've said before, I would just prefer to um, spot conceal then use like a full mask of foundation. Okay, um, I always say that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with, so next I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, just with a big fluffy brush. And just put that along my cheekbones, right into the ear and along my forehead as well. Jawline and neck. A little bit on your nose. And then um, I don't wear eyeshadow during the day. I just use a little bit of bronzer on a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Just kind of warmed up your socket. And then I'm gonna do brows really quickly. Right now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil. This is in the color Grace K. I like that this color is so gray, which sounds really weird, but it looks so weird when you have any kind of a color in your brows that has red in it. it just looks really unnatural because pretty much everyone's brows are really, really ashy. Although I'm not a redhead, so don't take my advice on that. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. My Shumara curler, which I always use. So I always curl my lashes before I apply concealer because I find that sometimes it leaves a little bit of, the lash curler will leave a little bit of um, black down here. And then it just screws up all the concealer work you just did. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD concealer. And just do a quick coat of mascara. This is Dior Show. That's good for voluminous, fluffy lashes. Obviously, you can use Dior Show on your bottom lashes, but um, my mascara tends to smudge a lot on the bottom, and so I use this... Um, tubular mascara from Blink and it just coats your bottom lashes in a tube basically and it doesn't um, smudge until you take it off with makeup remover.
Uh, what else? You can do a little bit of highlighter. I don't think I'm going to do any today. Um, you have to be careful with highlighter in the daytime because sometimes it can look like fake and glittery and bad. So um, if you're going to be outside a lot, like in the sun, I maybe wouldn't do any highlighter or do like a cream highlighter. So I'm just going to go in with some blush. This is Charlotte Tilbury First Love. Just on the apples of my cheeks and across my nose. And if you need to, you can always blend a little bit with your foundation brush. Just make sure all the edges are really well blended. Lips. So I normally just use lip balm and a lip liner during the day. Right now I'm using the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm, but Chapstick is one of my favorites. I need to sharpen this. I'm too lazy. So it's really simple. The whole thing takes probably less than five minutes. Um, and it just looks kind of glowy. And if you need a little bit of an extra awakening, uh, first of all, watch my um, video on how to look better if you're hungover or tired or sick. So a trick that I use is just to take a small eyeshadow brush, dab it in a little bit of highlighter, and put it on the inner corner. So that is it. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching me get ready this morning, and I will see you in the next video.